we're given this differential equation, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 13y equals 0, with the initial condition that y of 0 is 1 and y prime of 0 is 5. First, let's assume the solution will be of the form e to lambda x. And so I'm going to substitute e to lambda x in for every y there. So first I'll take the second derivative, the first derivative. And so that's lambda squared e to lambda x minus 4 lambda e to lambda x plus 13 times e to lambda x equals 0. Now I can factor out e to lambda x from every term. And then we have lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 13 equals 0. e to lambda x is always greater than 0, so we know that this will never equal 0. So we just have to focus on lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 13 equaling 0. And for that, we're going to use a quadratic formula and get that lambda is 2 plus or minus 3i. And so the roots are 2 plus, 2 plus or minus 3i, which gives us solutions. So whatever the roots are is what the exponent is going to be. So there's two roots. So that means there's two uh, terms here. So we have c1 times e to the 2 plus 3i times x, and c2 times e to the 2 minus 3i times x. Now we can simplify this further by using Euler's identity. So Euler's identity says if you have something in the form e to a plus bi times x, that's equivalent to e to the a times cosine bx plus i times e to the a sine bx. And so what I'm going to do is take my solution here and just rewrite it using Euler's identity. So for the first one, the first term we have a equals 2, b equals 3. Second term we have a equals 2, b equals negative 3. And this is the expression that we get. So we can factor out an e to the 2x times cosine 3x and that's c1 and c2 as the coefficients. And then for e to the 2x sine 3x, we have, or sorry, uh, i times e to the 2x sine 3x, we have c1 again, and then negative c2. So we factor those out. And c1 plus c2 is just a constant, so I'm just going to call that c1. And then i times c1 minus c2 is another constant. And so typically, you whenever you you see constants as just real numbers but i we know is complex so complex number is still a constant so that's why we call it c2 and so this is our solution